Hugh and Josh, how are you both doing today? Really well, thank you. Yeah, we're pretty sulky, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Tough one right off the bat. What's your favourite spy movie of all time? All the President's Men. Does that count? No. In a way. That could count. Dear the Condor, was that a spy film? Yeah. Yeah, there's some subterfuge in there. Spy Who Came In From The Cold is a good one. Third Man. I could go on. You really yeah. could. <laughs> Josh, you got a favorite? Yeah, I'd agree with Hugh on on uh, on uh, All the President's Men and The Third Man. I don't know. I, I've never been a big Three Days of the Condor fan, really. You, Hugh likes anything with uh, Robert Redford in it. So I do. I'm in a bit in love with him. Well, that's understandable. It is. It's Robert Redford, so yeah. he is to be loved. Um, there's a bit of conversation going around online at the moment about um, it's kind of a split in movie making where there's either this $200 million blockbuster or there's like a teeny tiny budget indie movie and there's not enough films in the middle, you know, uh, aimed at adults, decent production. And this is exactly the kind of film that I used to love watching in the 90s and 90s and they don't seem to make enough of anymore. Uh, would you agree that, that these kind of films are kind of maybe dying out and do you, do you enjoy working on productions kind of specifically like this yeah I mean, for myself this this feels like the right size it, and 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 also i'm a terrific snob about films i love i love films i love cinema i appreciate how well written and how well done a lot of television is nowadays i've even done some of it myself and i've, I've liked what i've done but it doesn't hit the spot the same way that cinema does for me and i'll tell you what i in my opinion Guy Ritchie is a proper filmmaker. He's, it's sort of inconceivable for him to make television. Everything's kind of, it's big, it's cinematic. People dress better than they do in real life. The, 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 everything's more stylish than it is in real life. Everything's a little heightened, even the dialogue's heightened. And um, I've missed this very much. I, 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 I slightly yawn at the endless stream of streaming. Stream of streaming, that's, that's a, nice, a nice way of putting it. Um, I guess as well for yourself, Josh, like, uh, and, and obviously Hugh, it's something you did quite recently, an actor playing an actor in Paddington too, and Josh in this as well. Is that fun, you know, playing maybe not necessarily a heightened version of yourself, but a heightened version of maybe an actor you have crossed paths with or even stories you've heard from other people about or actors? Is that fun to do? Well, for me, it was just kind of a heightened version of, of perspectives of actors, you know, uh, perception of actors, I guess. I mean, I haven't come across anyone quite as crazy as Danny, but I, I there are... There are people out there who are near, near enough. Yeah, it's it's fun to be able to lampoon yourself. It's fun to be able to just do a comedy, uh, full full stop. How about you, Hugh? Well, I think people, I think audiences like to see actors mocked, uh, even uh, gently as it as it is in this film, because the, basically they hate us, and I understand that. <laughs> Well, let me, I can speak for myself. I don't. I don't hate either of you. Oh, I think you're wow. both think fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you and Josh, thank you so much for your time today. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to shoot at them, Danny. So you weren't seen by anyone? Yes. That's a yes. You weren't seen by anyone? Yes. Or a yes, you were seen by someone. Yes. Yes.